Yeah, I guess I'll just go from your, your question. So I'm going to do a review of, I just wanted to see the Book of Clarence. And my wife hasn't seen it yet. So I, this video is going to be um, not giving it away because she doesn't really want to know it yet. She just, just heard about it. And I just heard about it too. So, all right. Um, yeah? Yeah. I guess we'll go by her questions. <laughs> okay, so what is... What's it about the book of clearance? The book of clearance to me right now it seems like without any research, like it's somebody, um, like their perspective on things during that time. Their what, perspective what time? Like, the time during the time of Christ, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So it's like another book of the Bible type of I guess you can say to me, it just seemed like somebody else's perspective. And I don't know if I want to give... I might be giving the story away if I give more insight to the character. Okay. To, like, who the character... I, I mean, I guess I can give, like, a little... What a trailer would. Yeah. Okay. So, like, a trailer would probably give away that Clarence um, is is um trying to impersonate the messiah but um but it seems to be genuine i guess you can say um because one of my one of my notes was that he seemed really just desperate for a better life mm -hmm. and he was scheming within the it seemed like it's over the course of 30 days like over a month of Clarence's life mm -hmm. and within this time before he even um started trying to impersonate the messiah he had already um like made a deal with like the plug to get all of this I think to get all of this ganja you know so he's like in the street, da, 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 da. It seemed like that's what it is from the first time watching it. Um, so he did that. Um, he made the deal. And then I think he tried to like, kind of like propose to that dude's sister. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Then he said, oh, I'm just going to go and try and be one of the... Um, I think I'm kind of giving this story away. Maybe this this might be, this wouldn't be in the trailer. This has gone a little bit too far. Like, they cut in all of these things out. But just this little snippet, like, he, um, he's just doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff in this little bit of time. Uh -huh. Yeah, and he really does end up, well, the third one is that he tries to be one of the disciples, which it made me think, because he's one of, he's a twin brother. Um, and I think he was calling his brother Thomas. And it, isn't that one of the disciples? Yeah. But wasn't his brother named like Bartholomew? That's what I wrote in my in my notes. Thomas, Thomas and Bartholomew. Who was Thomas' brother? I don't know. The is there a Bartholomew? There is. So I need to go. It it the good thing about the movie is it encourages you to get back go fresh and <laughs> get and go read your Bible. But yeah. there was weed back then. That's interesting. Like... Right. <laughs> well, you know, I feel like some things allude to you know. Because I, you know, I read, you know, the burning, something about the burning bush, you know. <laughs> and the, and I feel like it was the land of Kush. It was a, it was a few there things. It was the land of C-U-S-H, Kush. I thought it was K. K. See, it encouraged you to, to, to read your Bibles. Because it's a lot of scenes and it gives a lot of different perspectives. That's what I would say about the, I the think, movie. I um, Ethiopia comes out of Kush. Mm. I can believe it. And your Bible. <laughs> yeah, and looking the maps and the, it, it's a really, it's a really. I think it was a good movie. I think it was a great movie. Yeah, for sure. There were some parts because the lady that I spoke to leaving out, she was saying that her sister didn't want to go see it because it um, disrespects blasphemy. Yeah, and even some of those parts, I just feel like it shared a lot of different perspectives. 
Um, but I would say that I do think there were some parts that seemed a little bit disrespectful. Yeah. In my in my opinion, um, and I feel I do feel like I understand the different sides being shared, um, but I really think where it got where it got there for me was Mary Magdalene or Mary Mom? Mary Jesus uh, yeah yeah um, Jesus Mom uh-huh. um, Jesus Mother it's, it's like. Clarence actually went to the house to have a, a conversation, and so it's like, yeah, people want the people want to know, but um, it, it seemed like what they tried to do was stay true to the word. Like they tried to respect it by her saying, you know, I was a virgin. I, you know. Um, and just given all of the all of her truth, but um, he wasn't convinced mm-hmm. uh, because he's like, "What are you saying? Like, are you actually saying that y'all two did not have sex together?" Mm-hmm. That's what you can tell that Clarence represented the African American. That's like, you know, I don't see it. Da-da-da, you know, all of this stuff. But um, the beautiful thing I will say mm-hmm. about the movie is that. In book three, we got to see Clarence actually get to know God. Because the whole time, he was saying, oh, God's not, you know, God's not real, da, da, da. Like, but he actually came. You can see that it took time for him to come to the knowing that, you know, God is, is real. So I thought, okay, okay, this is a beautiful, this is, it's coming together. It's a movie, yeah. So, mm-hmm. okay. yeah, so... I don't know if I would say, like, you know, if they say, uh, would you recommend? I would recommend it. Go back upstairs. Yeah. It's still not bad. <laughs>